All right, Mr. Blank, uh, your head coach, Arthur Smith, said this morning that Desmond Ritter, last year's draft pick, is going to be is going to be your guy. Your thoughts on that? Uh, well, you know, he's been, um, you know, he's picked in the third round last year, and he's uh, he had a great career in college. He played in 50 games, won 44 out of out of 50, and played at a very high level, and probably one of the top all-time college winning quarterbacks. And all those reps and snaps and winning in big games is very important. And I think since he's uh, come on our campus. He's been a natural leader. He's worked hard. He's learned a lot uh, <clears throat> under both coaching and really, you know, he worked very closely with Marcus Mariota last year and learned a lot from him. Um, continued to move forward throughout the year um, and then had an opportunity to play the last four games, start the last four games, and we saw a lot, a lot of progress in the last four games with um, with Dez and. Uh, and we think he has capability of being a very competitive quarterback in this league. Did you ever consider getting into the free agent quarterback market or the or a trade <clears> market? Well, I, th I think you know when we look at free agency, and this is the first year. This is, in terms of my ownership, 21 years, and we had double the amount of um, uh, salary cap available going into free agency this year than we've ever had. Um, so you know that's a luxury we always haven't had, and we had it this year. And I think. You know, it's up to Coach Smith and Terry Fontenot and, and Rich and, you know, collectively to examine where the investment of that money should go in terms of how do we produce the best roster we can and put the best um, group of young men on the on the field. Um, and so I think they explored all opportunities in terms of, um, obviously in terms of backup quarterbacks and uh, a number of other players. And I think we've improved, we've improved our team this year a good bit. Uh, through free agency, and I'm excited about the draft coming up. We have eight eight remaining picks in the draft, and uh, so I, you know, I'm I'm pretty enthused about where we are. And you know, you talked about the job that Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot have done for two years. I mean, you guys had to go through some salary cap pain, but right. the draft picks that they were able to utilize right. to be competitive yeah. have really developed. I mean, what yeah. about the path you guys had to take, and where you think this team stands? Well, I think we had to go through that transition. <clears throat> you can, you know, use whatever term you want for it, but you know, um, we were in a situation with, you know, Matt had, you know, in my opinion, you know, had a Hall of Fame career, uh, 14 years with us, one one more year with the Colts, and um, but you know, I, I think we'd gotten to the point where we're, we're almost 25 percent of our salary cap was tied up with one player, and, and we had. It, Though he was a great player, we weren't getting to the results we needed to do. And I think the decision that collectively was made is that we needed to, you know, have a deeper roster, needed to have a number of positions upgraded, both on offense and defense, um, both in free agency and the draft. And I think that they've done a really great job in doing that. Um, and at the same time, I think have you know had a very competitive team the last two years, year before last. We uh, didn't get bounced out of the playoff uh, potential until the last game of the year against the Bills, and we almost won that game. And this last year, we played very competitively as well you know, throughout the year. So um, I expect this year with the um, aging of the, of the draft picks, with um, you know, this more seasoned coach staff, the coaching staff we have. I mean, Coach Smith is now going to his third year as a head coach and Terry into his third year as, our, as, a, as a general manager. Um, I expect the team to be even more competitive and, and certainly compete for um, you know for a championship this year. It's not just a matter of how much how do you win this coming year, but are you building an organization that's going to be really sustainable, um, you know, and going to be in the discussion for the top seven eight teams every year? You want to be in that group, and you have to be thoughtful about how you you know carry forward money available for free agency. You got to be thoughtful about how you use your draft picks. And I think that the coach and Terry are both are very committed to a long-term process. So I think we're ready uh, to join that group now, hopefully, um, starting with this year. And then I think we have all the resources in place to continue it going forward. Hey, Mr. Blank, thank you so much. It's always great. Well, it's always great to be with you, Stephen.